we have another, uh, we have our keynote speaker that has a few words of wisdom. I would like to introduce Lisa Bernardo. She's the Dean of Admissions in California at State University Stanislas. Stanislas. I can't say it. Sorry, Lisa. So <laughs> now that I broke that one up, um, Lisa, you want to have a few words for our, for our recipients? Sure. First, I want to say thank you to Comisión Femenil for inviting me. I'm honored to be here among so many empowering women. It's, uh, it's really nice. And to the scholarship recipients, Angelina, Jasmine, Carla, Darley, congratulations. Uh, your hard work, your dedication, it's paid off. And this is a great way to start your career in higher education. I think I'm gonna, um, I had some words written down and when I was trying to figure out what I was gonna share with you, I really wanted to reflect on the people in my life who guided me and supported me, particularly the women who gave me so much strength, my mom, my aunts, my sisters. I think all of us probably have people that have inspired us along our journey through education and just life in general. And it's not always that we think of them, but during this time, it was a really nice thing to look back and think of all, all the things that they've done for me, whether they know it or not. Um, as I listened to what Jennifer had to say, I wanted to give you some perspective from the other side of the counter, as we always say, because I work on the back end of, um, of the university in an administrative position. I am the Dean of Admissions, as was mentioned, and it's not what I set out to be. Um, I actually really wanted to be an attorney. That didn't happen at all, but I'm so <laughs> grateful and so glad that I ended up here. Um, I have the great honor and pleasure of admitting every student into California State University Stanislaus. We're one of 23 campuses in the in in the state uh, in the California State University system, which is the largest system in the country. And there's so much diversity. There's so much. Um, there are so many important people that I get to meet and so many students that I get to work with that I'm so grateful to be in this position. For those of us who work on the other side, handling your paperwork and all the millions of hurdles that you have to cross when you try to apply for college, which is not easy, it's important for you to know that we really do it with passion. It is our desire and our goal to help you succeed in college. It's our job to listen to you, to provide you service, to give you the most accurate information that we possibly can. And college can be overwhelming. There's so much to learn. If any of you have been to your orientation, you probably learned way too many things and you can't remember half of them. We get it, we do. Um, so it's important for you to connect with someone at the university, as Jennifer mentioned, um, a teacher, a professor, uh, someone in an office, an administrative support staff person. There are always people there who can help you and who want to help you. I really, really enjoy working with students. I enjoy listening to your stories. There's never one the same. They inspire me every day. They give me strength, they give me encouragement, and you should know that those of us who work in service do it because we really want to see you succeed. I um, work at a small college. It's probably about 11,000, it's not that small, but it's about 11,000 students. And um, the really nice thing about working at a small college is that I've gotten to know professors and deans and administrative support staff, counselors, advisors, et cetera. Um, and when I run across a student who is in need of some mentoring or maybe advising, or maybe they're not sure what their major should be and they're just struggling to find their place, I am so fortunate to be able to reach out to my colleagues throughout the campus and uh, refer you and advise you and take you to them so that they can, you know, inspire you with some words of wisdom and help you understand that you're not alone. There are many students who don't know exactly what they're going to do. And sometimes your path changes. I'm telling you, I wanted to be an attorney. Yeah, that didn't work. Um, my path changed part of the way through. And 
I can't even imagine how my life would be fulfilled if I weren't in this position. So um, keep your minds open and listen and learn and take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. And if they don't come your way, make those opportunities. The other thing I really have experienced as I am in this position is that no matter how many times we meet someone and how many times I hear about someone's journey or someone's path, it's not always straightforward. Sometimes it's rocky. Sometimes the road curves off to the side a little bit, but the goal and the objective are still there. Um, don't get discouraged when your path is not straight and narrow. That doesn't always happen for all of us, but know that there are people right behind you, supporting you and pushing you and guiding you to that end goal so that you can reach it. I'm so lucky to be able to hear stories every day, to work with students, to um, be able to guide them and provide them the resources that they need. And it may be that their place is at the university and it may be that it's not. Not everyone is cut out to be at Stan State or Northridge or Fullerton or wherever. Um, sometimes their path is at a vocational school or sometimes it's at a community college. Nevertheless, our job as service individuals in, in an institution of higher education is to provide you support and to provide you guidance. So I'm really fortunate to be able to do that. I've been working at Stan State for about 20 years or 20 plus years, and I'm still inspired all the time by the people I work with. I work in a more administrative role. And when I moved into the more administrative role, when I became the Dean of Admissions, I was a little bit sad that I wouldn't be able to work with so many students. But what I realized is that even though I don't work directly with students, I work with about 27 to 30 staff members and about 20 student assistants, is that all of those things that I love so much in working with students, I could apply to my staff or to my student assistants and I could inspire them and encourage them to go after their goal and go after their objective, to continue their education. All of those things are so important. You know, I, I realized that everything I said, everything I did, that words matter. And I encourage you and I hope that you know that when you walk into a large classroom with 72 or 75 people and it feels like you're all alone, I assure you someone else will feel the very same way. You know, that you're not alone. And perhaps you can find the courage to sit next to someone and say hello, because you know that it will make a difference for them too you might change their lives. And that's a really wonderful feeling. We may not know that the words that we say and the things that we do make a difference, but they do. And so what Jennifer said earlier, you know, find your path, find your mentor, be true to yourself. Those are all really important things and give back, even if it's just a kind word even if it's just sitting next to someone and saying hello, that never goes too far. There's never too much kindness, never. And so I just want to congratulate each of you on such an amazing accomplishment. I know you'll have so many more. Um, there'll be good times. There'll be tough times. Uh, there'll be frustrating times. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all worth it. I encourage you to reflect back on those people who said kind words to you, pay it forward, make sure that you do the same for someone else and know that all those people who guided you and supported you, they'll do that for the rest of their lives. And that's a really wonderful thing. Um, I am so lucky to be in a position that affects so many people. Not only do I get to admit all of these students to the university, to Stan State, but I also have the pleasure of being the office that awards all the degrees. So talk about full circle. It's really, really wonderful. And I'm 
so excited for you to experience that someday. It's going to be a most the most amazing thing you'll ever you'll ever accomplish because you did it. I have to say it's probably one of the most exciting days of my life, even more than getting married or any of those things, uh, because you did it. You studied hard and you put the time in and you overcame obstacles and made it through a really tough class. That is a great feeling. And it's so exciting that you get to begin this journey um, with this scholarship you know, at your heels, it makes things just a little bit easier. And, you know, I, I just want to say congratulations again. And, and thank you to everyone. I'm so honored to be here. I love what I do. I'm so excited that I get to be a person who makes a difference in higher education. And I hope that I inspire my staff the way I've been inspired by the people around me. So thank you again. And, um, Good luck to each of you. Go change the world. I'm so excited for you. Great. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. <laughs>